Uh, there's a, a few statistics there. Only one that counts. That's 2-1 to Paris Saint-Germain. And um, late drama, we wonder what one-legged ties would throw up. And, um, well, that's not a bad start, yeah, was it, Glenn? That's so exciting, wasn't it? And uh, I got, you got a feel for Atlanta. Oh, yes, Atlanta definitely. Atlanta put everything in. They were so yeah. tired in the end. They were pressing, defending well. But, they again, a little bit like Wolves last night dropping off. They were dropping deeper and deeper. And they didn't have anyone holding the ball up. And you just felt we were sitting here saying, they're going to get one, they're yeah. going to get one. And they did. But it was... Mbappe that's, that's changed it. We said at half-time, Neymar needed someone else on there with a bit of top, top class. He kept going, though, Neymar, he didn't he? He yeah. wasn't having... His, you know, he's doing a lots of brilliant things and then he was giving it away and yeah. then he missed really good chances, but the great players keep going. Yeah, his cutting edge was, wasn't there until the one moment he, he slides a lovely ball in, but it's the run off the ball yeah. that he didn't have first off. No one was making movement, but Mbappe is so sharp and he's just gone in behind and, and that was the difference, that little moment of individual flair. Mm. Uh, plenty to discuss uh, later in the evening. Uh, still more to come from Lisbon and Germany as BT Sport brings you live coverage of each and every match from both the Champions League and the Europa League. The Champions League quarterfinals continue across the next three nights with Leipzig against Atletico tomorrow. Then it's Barcelona against Bayern, mouthwatering tie on Friday uh, before Manchester City, the sole Premier League uh, team left in the tournament, take on Lyon on Saturday. Uh, they've already reached the semi-final stage in the Europa League with Sevilla against Manchester United live from Cologne on Sunday before Inter and Shakhtar meet in Dusseldorf on Monday. But the first team through to the semi-finals of the Champions League is Paris Saint-Germain, two promoting uh, with the goal. Such relief and emotion and excitement. They've done it. Uh, these are the scenes uh, at the end of the game. Thomas Tuchel uh, sat in on the drink spot, but um, Neymar, he'll be relieved after the chances he missed, won't he? And um, PSG, a semi-final at last after all this time, but huge disappointment for Atalanta. Uh, PSG are the first team to book their place in the Champions League semi-finals. Uh, they'll face the winners of tomorrow's tie between Leipzig and Atletico next Tuesday. And don't forget that each match from both the Champions League and the Europa League is live and exclusive here on BT Sports. And uh, more games like that, we'll, uh, I think we'll enjoy the next week or so. Oh, unbelievable. I mean, like, like we said, this would have been normally... Uh, PSG have lost, regroup, come back for the next one and you fancy them. Where this is like, bang... One game, it's over, you go through to the next round. And I think PSG on the night probably did deserve it in terms of chances created because yeah. the man Neymar was, was phenomenal in the first half and Mbappe comes on and I think changes the game. Yeah, heartbreaking for, for Atalanta though, isn't it? Yeah. After all the, you know, going through and the town, obviously Bergamo and yeah. the story. And you, yeah. saw, you started to think, well, this of all years, maybe that kind of miracle could happen, but sadly not. In 149 seconds. Between the two goals, yeah. They turned round pretty quickly, yeah. didn't it? But that is football sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. But it was a brave performance. I thought they were well, you know, they went toe to toe with, with PSG. Yes, they were the better side. They shaded it, I think, PSG, and they probably deserved it. But, you know, you, th you thought it was just going to be, you know, their night. They were going to get out themselves over the line. But it was, like I said, they just dropped too deep. And, and, the, and I think they get. It's hard tired. not they to press, sometimes, isn't they it? They press so hard later on. Yeah. From 75 minutes on, they were still yeah. going man for man, pressing hard, and the fatigue levels yeah. and the mentality, they switched off. Yeah. But PSG kept going to their credit. They've had this happen to them many times, haven't they? But yeah. they've done it themselves uh, this time, which will be psychologically so important for them. This, this was the first goal. Yeah, and Tupac Moting plays a part in this. It's across to the back post, and there's your man, Neymar. Yeah. Scuffs it across and Mark Inos, who you wouldn't have thought would have been there to, to get a, a poachers type goal. You'd have expected someone like Icardi in there. but Great awareness from Neymar. Yeah, I don't know if he's even passing or shooting there, but he gets the ball across the, the six yard box, which is a danger area. He can do, oh, yeah. does what he can. Maybe it's a bit of a scoff, actually. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but I think that's why the been, celebrations of yeah. it was so animated. They, they've been on the receiving right. end of this but a couple of times. When the cross years. comes in, you see two defenders <coughs> from Atalanta drop in and the other two stay up on the... Eight. That's concentration, yeah. fatigue, yeah. that late on. There's, there's no unity mm. about, about them defending. OK, um, well, as you said, 149 seconds later, mm. a tube promoting. Um, of all people, scored the winner, came on as sub, made a big difference. Um, and you could sort of smell it coming once they got to 1-1, Glenn. 
Yeah, I mean, we sensed it. We're sitting there going, oh, no, they're too deep, whatever. And, and, and the sort of quality of the players they've got, and this is quality, this is quality, look. Bang, the movement that he didn't have someone making that movement first half was there. And Mbappe just sort of comes towards the ball, bang, he's in. And it's a split second. And you can't blame any defender in the world there. No. You really can't because it's done very quickly. I think it's the awareness as well from Neymar. Yeah, he's back to Mbappe, knows he's there. His first touch opens his body out to be able to play that ball. And then it's the timing and the awareness of Mbappe to make that run. The intelligence, the pace. pace and then decision-making. That's what I love about, about Mbappe. He's got the decision-making, all that pace, all the skills, etc. But decision-making at the end, at the, at the cutting edge of the game, he makes the right decisions. OK, uh, we can hear from um, the goal scorer, Chupa Moting. He's with Des Kelly. Eric, that was some incredible drama. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of celebration that we've yeah. been seeing. It's been an incredible night for you and for the team. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, it was a all in all a crazy game, a tough game, tough opponent. And I think we showed um, such a good moral until the last second, we, we believed in us. It wasn't easy because um, we had some good occasions. I think Ney did a, a, a great game, unbelievable game, but had some occasions. Unfortunately, unfortunately he didn't score. And uh, when I came on, I thought to myself, we can't lose, we can't go home like that. And yeah, I was confident in myself, confident in the team. And then the rest is a little history of Paris. That's right. And the history of Paris Saint-Germain has been sort of bad luck and jinxes in previous campaigns. And, and people were wondering if there was a, a mental block. But clearly, that's not the case. We saw that from the character of the side. Yeah, exactly. Um, to be honest, since month, um, we have a good feeling in the team. We're enjoying good moments um, on the pitch and off the, off the pitch together. And we won already um, four titles this season. But the most important is this one. And, um, we really believe in us and we did it today and um, everybody knows we have, we have individual top quality but we wanted to show it also as a team and it's a big step today against, again, a very good opponent. Um, respect to, to Atalanta Bergamo and um, I'm very happy that we did it today. As you say, you've won plenty of domestic trophies but this is the real prize, the one that the club really wants. Yeah, since a long time. We never won the, the Champions League and um, I think with such a team you have to have this ambition. It's such a big club and we will give everything in the next game and continue to believe and everything is... Football is, has its stories. And you have such a great squad, a squad and an in-depth talent. Mbappe, when he came on, he did add something as well. For sure, yes. for sure. Not only the assist, uh, he had straight away some good actions and um, yeah. he's one of the best players in the world. Congratulations. Have a really good night. Thank you. Yeah, there's no question that Neymar's one of the best players in the world. Um, let's have a look at his night because he was involved so frequently. Uh, yes, he missed a couple of sitters, but he did keep going and going and going. Really. And Gary, before the game, we said this is a game for him to take on that responsibility. Yeah. And I think definitely in the first half especially, that's what he'd done. He, he took it upon himself to, to get himself in these positions through unbelievable football. This is absolutely textbook football. But to do it is difficult. It takes... It takes Energy, it takes understanding, intelligence, but it was just it was just the final ball. Yeah. The decision making in the final bit just wasn't there in the first half, but it wasn't for the want of trying, I'm telling you. Yeah. No, his approach work was excellent, wasn't it? It was just that, that final ball, that final pass, that final shot just wasn't there, but uh, he persisted. That's just beautiful. Skill. Skill. He's, he's rolling it through with That's his great start. Skill. out of order. But, you know. <laughs> but that that's where, you know, on the night I think, you know, for somebody that was only on the Park for what 30 minutes. Mbappe was the one for me, not Neymar. Yeah. He was the one yeah. that changed the game. You know, Neymar had well, he needed that help as well, to, didn't he? To win the game or change the game, but he did need that help, Gary. And, and a great player needs great players around him. We were just talking there, though. Yeah. This is, I, I just feel that this is the way they need to play. Mm -hmm. They don't give up as many chances when the three midfielders who are more work, workman like yeah. who sit in there and hold and just allow the, the superstars like Mbappe and Neymar yeah. to go and produce the goods. Well, Mbappe's um, obviously fit again and um, Di Maria will be back as well for the semi-final, um, which obviously PSG are now in and they'll meet either Leipzig or Atletico. They meet tomorrow night and we'll be looking ahead uh, to that one uh, when we come back. It's half as good as tonight's. Uh, we're in for a treat. <laughs>